Welcome back to Sports Edge. We have a guest with us. It's Tremaine Williams. They call him the midget. Or boxer, you're back in the ring finally. You just had a fight. How you feeling? So good. Um, good to be back. Um, and I can't wait to get back in the ring. What was it like? You, you know, you're, you've been fighting for so long, but this is the first time in a while. Mm -hmm. Talk about the emotions going into the ring. Um, it was a bunch of mixed emotions. It was kind of, it was surreal in so many ways. Um, I was anxious, a little nervous for being the main event and taking all that time off. But I know I was ready. This is what, a year and a half? Uh, a year and a half since I've been in the ring. So let's, let's just get it out there, because people who aren't familiar with your story are going, well, why did he take this time off? You were incarcerated yes. for, for, for an amount of time. They found what, a, a gun yes. in where you live. Talk about that. Talk about your time behind bars. Um, that was a big learning experience for me. Um, I don't want to justify getting in trouble, but it helped. And I kind of needed it in so many ways, because now I'm more motivated than ever, and I'm ready to take it to the next level. Oh, a lot of people are, are quick to just say, oh, you know, typical story, you know, but people don't live your life, don't walk in your shoes. Man. What goes on uh, on a daily basis in your life that, you know, trying to fight things outside of the ring? Um, it's kind of complicated because you got to balance out a lot of different things and you still have to perform at a high level. So that's, that's kind of the hardest thing. Everything else is just falls into place. Tell me about being in the ring, we mentioned watching you get into the ring, and you mentioned just throwing your first punch, you put so much into it. Do you, like, do you have to relearn to fight again? Um, nah, because I've been, I've been doing it so long, it's like it's second nature to me. Um, but when I got in the ring, it was just all these emotions just bottled up, and it was just anger and frustration and, and anxious. And I, I don't know, it was, I, I, was just, I was just blown away, man. You, 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 know, you said that that time away helped you. How did it help you, and did it give you some perspective on, on realizing how important the boxing is to you? Yeah, it kind of uh, opened my eyes to different things and, and showed me what I really had. And, and, and it also showed me that I also would lose everything and blink an eye. What's next for Tremaine Williams, for everyone out there who saw you fight last um, weekend? We were there. What's next for you? Hopefully I should be back in the ring late June, early July. Um, and what you can expect is, is me to continue to grow and me to continue to... To, to be passionate and more motivated and, and ready. You know, we've been following your story since you were nine years old, uh, right? I mean, John, years. John, you were out covering. Yeah. <laughs> you were out covering. We we're, were like, what? You're going to cover a nine-year-old boxer? What's uh, going on with this? So, so it's been such a big part of your life, and your story has been told so many times as you have grown in New yeah. Haven here. But I, I still don't remember why they call you a midget. Um, <laughs> that was a coach. That was the name my coach gave me, and then I was fighting one time at the palace and. This guy, he gave me the name, the Mighty Midget, and ever since then, it's just stuck. Going back to the first time, I remember asking you a question in two words. I'm like, oh boy, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> but now I come on, I interview you. I, do you see growth in yourself? You know, from you know, boy to young man, and, and there's still room to grow. Yes, I do. Um, take it back to when I was nine. I believe I'm doing better than I did then because yeah. I've said about a hundred more words than I used to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna continue to grow as well because a lot of this stuff comes with it. Now, Chad Dawson won a title in the this, this city of New Haven. Do you think you, you can pull that off? Is that the goal, obviously? Yes, I, I do believe I'll be the next world champion from New Haven. What do you want to prove to yourself moving forward? Anything? Um, Have you thought about that at all? Yeah, I want to prove to myself that I'm the best. In the ring, out of the ring? In the ring, yeah, out of the ring. Because going through what I went through, a lot of people can't bounce back. And it takes a true champion to bounce back. So I want to prove that to the world and to myself more than anything. You think you could take the three of us? Um, probably one at a time. I'm not going <laughs> to try. Yeah, I'm just going to give you a chance to try. Yeah, watch this right now. You're on the wrong side. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Thanks to Brian Clark thank from Ring One for bringing, bring, bringing you by here. We thank you. We wish you the best of luck. Thank if you, we don't see you later this month, early next month, we'll, uh, we'll keep it. our eye on, on the Mighty Midget story as it progresses. Thank you.